Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. We work with all kinds of different animals here at BHB. So today, I'm gonna to show you the variety we work with. You're watching Snake Bites. One of the things that I've always prided myself on when keeping reptiles is the diversity that we keep. We're not just all ball pythons and corn snakes. We have all kinds of really cool animals, and that's what this week's show is gonna be all about, starting with this amazing albino blood python. Just take a look at this beauty. It's just so incredible, and I've always been kind of infatuated with blood pythons ever since I was a little kid. Now, they get relatively large and pretty fat bodies, and sometimes their temperament can be a little bit sketchy but you can certainly see that plenty of them are really tame and these albinos are just absolutely gorgeous and as they get bigger they just get better and better but I tell you what if you want a blood python but you don't want something as big as a blood you can actually go with these short tail pythons and they're really cool this happens to be a black short tail and it's pretty much an adult size now it's going to get a little heavier body and a little bit bigger but it's not going to get nearly as big as the Malaysians or Sumatran bloods and take a look at that chrome head and again, you can see the temperament is actually pretty good on these guys. They're just really, really spectacular. But there's lots more to see, guys, so let's keep moving on. What is the common name of Ophiophagus hanna? Is it A, Death Adder, B, Inland Taipan, or C, King Cobra? Answer with a comment and keep watching to see if you're right. I work with a whole lot of different pythons, but I want to start with some of my favorites. These are carpet pythons, and this is actually a jungle carpet, which stays a little bit smaller. This isn't what I would consider a really great example because the really good ones are super black and yellow, and we're really excited to be working with a bunch of new carpet pythons with a friend of ours over in Germany from Star Pythons. We're starting to get all kinds of cool mutation carpets in really soon, so I'm really, really excited about that. But these bread lies are always one of my favorites. Just look at how big they are, and they're just super, super tame. This happens to be of the stripe variety. There's also bandits that we work with too. But carpet pythons are neat because they're relatively high production animals. A female like this is going to probably have in the upper 20s or even lower 30s as far as egg count. So you can produce a whole bunch of them. And they hatch out relatively big. They're from Australia, and they're super, super cool. Another Australian python that I absolutely love are, of course, these Womo pythons. They just have some of the coolest perks personalities and again they only get about this size so they're pretty much just a perfect size python when you don't want a really big animal but you want something that's pretty beefy and they're still a little bit exotic these guys are only going to have maybe 10 12 15 eggs at the very most but they're just super super cool animals but there's so much more i got to show you keep coming guys there's really so many pythons I can show you guys. We work with spotteds and childrens and savus and maclots and so many different really cool animals. But one of the things I probably don't highlight nearly enough in the show are my green tree pythons. They're certainly one of the most beautiful naturally occurring pythons with that vibrant green color. And they come in a bunch of really cool phases. You can get higher yellow animals and whites and blues and all kinds of really cool stuff. But again, the thing I love about them is they're always perched just like this. So they make a tremendous vivarium animal that you can set up in your living room and just have this beautiful display snake. Not so great with handling. But let's move on to something that is pretty good with handling, and that's boa constrictors. And I absolutely love boas. This happens to be a hypo, het for sun glow, and she's been breeding. She's probably one of only about five animals that aren't grabbed at right now. And that's right, everyone always complains about me not getting boas in the show and me not working with enough boas. The truth is we're having a tremendous year with boas. We have tons of gravid females, and we're hoping to have a whole bunch of really cool babies in the next couple months. So I'm really excited to finally get into the boa production. And look at this beauty here. This is an albino. It's just a straight call albino, but again, it's just a really cool animal. And I really love my sun glow stuff and my arabesque sun glow stuff. They're really beautiful. But the albinos themselves are really incredible. And again, they're a recessive mutation. So when I'm breeding them to things like that hypo head albino, 
I can get albinos and sun glows right the first shot, so I'm pretty excited about it. But I really like this other mutation too. This is actually a hog island. This is a hypo hog island. The thing I like about the hogs are the pure blood animals actually stay a little bit smaller. This guy is actually a breeder right now, and it's a male. Females will probably get maybe twice the size girth wise, but they stay relatively small, and they're just really cool. They've got a different color and hue to them, and they're typically pretty nice animals as well. Boas are something that I probably will get more into this year if I have success producing all the babies I hope to. Rainbow boas are another boa that I work with that are really cool and these guys happen to be breeding right now or trying to breed so I'm not going to mess with them too much. These are Colombian rainbow boas and they're not as pretty as the Brazilian rainbows, but they're actually really good animals. They're still beautiful as babies. As they get older, they dull out a little bit, but there's some really cool mutations in Colombian rainbows that are making them extremely popular. And these are the prettier of the rainbows for sure. And that's the Brazilian rainbow boas. Now these guys have live young, just like the Colombian rainbows, but the difference is, Colombians are gonna have maybe 12 to 15 babies on average. These guys can have in the mid 20s and even up to 30 plus babies and again the reason that they call them rainbow boas is when they glimmer in the light you can see that rainbow hue to them truly an incredible boa can't wait to show you the place man oh nice i heard you work on some leopard geckos oh absolutely wait what the hell is this you guys oh, play man. hockey now Dude, hockey's like a way of life around BHB. Really? I've been playing hockey all my life. My name's Barczyk. I was born to play hockey. Oh, well then we're going to have to do some sort of skills competition or something. You think I'm scared of you? You should be. <laughs> I freaking played all my life. Okay, what well, Do I sense a little BHB Sasback Reptile challenge going on here? Well, yeah. We, let's put something on the line. Let's do it to where we all do the competition and the loser has to stand in net and we take a slap shot at him. I'm down, let's do this. Get ready um, for the pain, Matt. All right. Okay, guys, the first competition is a slalom. What you have to do is take the ball and navigate through the obstacles. If you hit the obstacle, it's a 10 second thing. This is gonna be time, the fastest one wins. Pick an event. Now it's my turn to pick an event. It's called juggling. What's juggling? It feels a little something like this. Got it? Right. Anybody can do that. Not Try it. Alright guys, my turn. It's going to be sharp shooting. The deal is you put the ball in the bottom bucket, it's worth one point. You put it in the top bucket, it's worth two. Get three shots to get as many points as you can. Good luck everyone. Do it. Three total. Oh, oh, I missed that one. But yeah, I go with three. Come on, man. Oh, one. Oh, damn. He won't do it again. He won't do it again. Oh, he won't do it again. That's one point. Guys. That's one point. Wow. <laughs> Good job, Matt. National champion right there. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. Oh. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Nice. 
Last event, breakaway challenge. It's worth five points. We're going to throw the new guy in net and see who scores. Here's a quick score update. With five points on the line in this final challenge, it's still an open field. But Jamie needs to come up big to avoid facing down the slap shot. can't shoot anyways. Who said it was gonna be one of us? Well, what do you mean? Who's gonna shoot? Hey, what's oh, up? Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Should've made that shot. I'll tell you what, NHL hockey players are no f joke. That sh hurt! Alright, so today we got to hang out with the guys from the San Jose Sharks. They're really cool guys, and I know Brian and Brent are good friends and all, but I'm still a Detroit Red Wings fan. Die hard till the day I die. I want to know what is your favorite sports team. Leave a comment below and let us know. Well, there's so many projects happening here, we couldn't fit it all into one show. So make sure to tune in next week to part two of what's going on here at BHB. In the meantime, if you want to follow any of my animal adventures, make sure to hit me up over on Facebook and Twitter, at SnakeBitesTV. Until next week, you've been watching Snake Bites. What's the common name of Ophiophagus Hanna? Well, if you guessed C, King Cobra, you were absolutely right. Nice work. These guys are actually breeding right now. These are rhino rat snakes. And I went to pick the male up and he's actually hooked into the female. Thank gosh I didn't pull him apart. This is actually one of the first times I've ever seen rhino rats breeding. I put them in together and I've thought they've bred before and we produce babies, but I've never actually witnessed it. So this is pretty awesome. I'm gonna just go ahead and shut this drawer.